Welcome to uh, our session, facilitating sense making. Hope you're all well. I think we'll start with a check in. Um, and so we just want to ask that you share uh, your name, uh, where your feet touch the earth, and just one or two words to describe how you're arriving in this space. It'd be great to know a little bit about you. Uh, my name's Abe Greenspoon. I'm here in uh, on my couch in Ottawa, Canada. And uh, this is the unceded traditional lands of the Algonquin people. And uh, I go by the pronouns he, him. Emily? Hi, uh, my name is Emily. Um, I live in London in the UK um, and I go by the pronouns she, her and I'm feeling excited. Hi, I'm Gemma. Can you hear me? I've got a slight tech problem so I'm dialing in um, but I am based my feet are landing in London. I am feeling, yeah, excited about jumping into this session. So that's it. Great. Thanks for everybody doing uh, the introductions in the chat. Uh, just a few housekeeping items before we get started. I just want to note that today's session is being recorded. Um, only in these plenary sessions when we're all together, we'll be putting you into breakout rooms and those won't be recorded. Um, but just, just for your awareness. Um, Quite a few of us, so, so please stay muted as usual. You can use the raise hand function in Zoom. Uh, usually you can find this um, in the participant section. You'll see a blue hand, but it depends on which device you're using. Um, if you have any technical issues, just post in the chat. And we've got James here from States of Change who will help you out. Thanks, James. And um, yeah, I think we're all learning how to use uh, technology these days. So these types of sessions are really interesting. So bear with us as we experiment with this. Um, so we apologize for any technical hiccups that we encounter along the way. Thanks for your patience and for your compassion. Um, we'll also be using a, a Harvest document that we'll post in the chat. It'll be a link to a Google Doc. So if you're able, um, that'll be a great place to go. Uh, we'll be copying content from the chat into the Harvest Doc. Um, and so there'll be a space also for you to share some of your group work notes. Um, we've added a spot at the bottom for you to share resources. Um, and there's a space where we've added even some of the documents, the resources that inspired us to run this session. So, um, so yeah, take a look at that document. Emily will paste a link to it in the chat um, for you. Um, grab a pen and a few sheets of paper if you can. Uh, you'll be asked to, uh, to journal a little bit, to write some things down, to maybe even do a little bit of drawing if it's available to you uh, and if you so, feel so inclined. Um, find a quiet space if you haven't done that already. Um, you'll be asked to, at some points, turn your video off and stand up and maybe move around. So good to uh, be in a space where you feel comfortable. Um, turn your video on for now if you can and we'll, um, until we suggest otherwise, try and minimize all your other windows and apps. Turn off your phone or, or put it away for now if that's uh, an option for you. Um, and take a second to breathe. And just center yourself and welcome to this space. And I'm going to hand it over to Emily, who's going to give us a brief overview of today's session. Hi, everyone. So I'm just going to very briefly talk about why we created this session, why sense making, um, and also what to expect out of the next um, hour and 15 minutes or so. So Abe, Gemma and I, uh, we're a group of people who are really fascinated in how organizations learn and how they change. And I think uh, we can all agree that 2020 has shown us that organizations really, really need um, to learn how to learn and how to change. One of the foundations of learning is to be able to reflect, notice, hold a mirror up, and to be able to do that at both an individual level and at a group level. 
sense making is a learning practice and like any practice like a meditation practice uh, the benefit you derive from it comes from doing it regularly as a practice cyclic in a cyclical way the values of repetition and how you notice patterns over time so we're going to try it once today but we really encourage you to try this out in your organizations going forward and we can talk a little bit about that at the end of the session sense making the reason Abe, Gemma and I are passionate about it too is that it's a very participatory way of revealing multiple individual perspectives and group perspectives and dynamics within a system organizations are systems so that we have better information to hand and ultimately can make better decisions better choices and be more intentional about the futures that we want to create um, which we felt was very much part of the, the spirit of the states of change festival being intentional about which states we want to move into. So for this session, this is a learning by doing session. We have no slides. It is a slide free zone. Um, there's three activities. They build on each other sequentially. The value is taking part in all three if you can. So the first session is a 20 minute guided individual sense making session, which Gemma is going to facilitate us through. That's what you need your paper for and your pen. So do you find that if you don't have it to hand? Then there'll be a 10 minute triad activity in threes in breakout room to sense make your individual experience together. Like Abe will guide us through that. And then there'll be a 15 minute small group exercise, maybe five of you to sense make as a group. Um, and Abe and Gemma are gonna guide us through that. Then we'll have a only a little bit of time at the end, 10 minutes for probably only a couple of people to share a few reflections um, from those three activities. Um, before we start, um, Abe, Gemma and I, we just wanted to acknowledge the extraordinary times that we're in, the pandemic, the incredible protests and activism for Black Lives Matter around the world, and also the impact that these events are having, particularly on Black people, Indigenous people and people of colour. This is, if, if these are things that are important for you to talk about as part of the sense making that we're going to be doing, please do. This is a safe space, but also look after yourself only share what you're comfortable sharing, only participate in what you're comfortable participating in. And if you're not comfortable with something you experience, you're very welcome to, to leave a breakout room, that's totally fine. Um, and you can send, always send me um, a private message in the chat. My name is Emily Bazalgette. Okay, over to Gemma. Okay, great. Thank you, Emily. Um, can you hear me? So, with this activity uh, we're going to do initially is an embodied individual activity and we'll invite you to feel into it and to see multiple perspectives. So, we'll be working individually on our past, present and future. Why we've chosen that is we've noticed that during COVID we've experienced moving between these states quite frequently. We have both left behind old ways which no longer serve as any purpose or no more purpose, but and we've also rapidly adapted in our responses to COVID to find temporary new ways of working. And we're aware that these states keep shifting as we deal with the ongoing uncertainty. You know, everyone is experiencing this differently. So getting ready for this activity, I invite you all just to take a few moments to find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. So just make sure that the door's closed, windows are closed, and you're sat in a comfortable place. Can I invite you first to turn off your video as well as your sound? And this is just to create a sense of an undisturbed space for the activity. During this activity called Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow, I'll be inviting you to move around to physically represent these different places, the land of yesterday, the land of today and the land of tomorrow. I'll be reading some questions one at a time and pausing briefly for you to reflect and respond. But I'll be moving through these at pace. Um, please respond just with your initial thoughts. But if the question doesn't resonate with you, just move on. Try not to think about it too much. And following this activity, as we explained, we'll be debriefing in tri triads. <laughs> and you can also choose what you want to share and what you feel comfortable with. So acknowledging that this is an individual activity and really for you to delve into how you've experienced the passage of time from yesterday, today and tomorrow. Okay, check we're ready. So 
So I invite you to find that comfortable place if you've not already found it. But really find a place that you think identifies or represents yesterday. So if it's available, available to you, move to this place or make yourself comfortable. Perhaps change your position or just sit in a place which represents yesterday. Yesterday is a time period that makes sense for you. It could be your near past, or it could be like literally yesterday, or it could be Monday or further back. So I invite you to take a breath and welcome yourself here. What is it like to be here in the land of yesterday? I invite you just to take a moment and take a deep breath. Think, what is it like to be here in the land of yesterday? Okay. How does it feel to stand in yesterday? How does it feel to stand in yesterday? You can either scribe on your paper or you can just think this through, however you feel comfortable. How does it feel to stand in yesterday? What do you love? about yesterday? What do you love about yesterday? Take a few moments to either jot down, or just think through what do you love about yesterday? What is important here? What's important here? What is the weather like here? If yesterday was a weather system, what would it be? Can you draw it or describe it? Now I invite you to jot down one thing, that's one thing that you want to remember and take with you into today. So I invite you to jot down one thing, one thing that you want to remember and take with you into today. Okay, great. So now I invite you to shake off yesterday. You might want to physically do a shake, stand up, do a little dance, and just let it go, let it evaporate. Just kind of shake off that place of yesterday. And I invite you to transition into a new place, one which represents today. So change your position in your room or just in the chair that you're sat in, face a different way and get comfortable. So stand or sit in today, just arrive here. Just give you a few moments to 
arrive and find your today. Okay, great. So, arriving in today, I want you to take a moment to welcome yourself here. What is it like to be here? How does it feel to stand in today? Today can be literally today or it can be just your present, however you feel. So how does it feel to stand in today? Or sit if you're sitting. <laughs> What do you love about today? I want you to think about what do you love about today? Again, either scribe or just collect your thoughts. What do you love about today? What is important here? What is important here? Jump down. What's important? Now, like yesterday, I want you to imagine today is a weather system. What's the weather like here? What's the weather like in today? Can you draw it, describe it? Let's take a minute to explore the weather system of today. Now, how are things different from the way they used to be? Is there anything different about today from yesterday? Maybe what needs to be grieved here or honoured or acknowledged? From the old yesterday, what needs to be grieved, honoured or acknowledged? Again, if, if this speaks to you, put something down. But if it doesn't, it's okay. So what needs to be grieved, honoured or acknowledged from the old yesterday? Now, what is possible today that was not possible yesterday? What is possible here and today that was not possible yesterday? Okay. 
And now I invite you, like yesterday, to jot down one or two things that you want to remember in the today and take with you into tomorrow. So I invite you to jot down one or two things that you want to take with you into tomorrow. Just get, get a couple of things down that you want to remember. Okay, great. Now, I invite you to shake off today. So we're going to stand up or move. Just maybe physically shake it off. Let it go. Evaporate. Do a little dance. No one can see you. Do whatever you need to do to shed today. And I'm going to invite you to transition into a new place. So find a new place which represents tomorrow. Maybe change the way you're sat, or change the place in the room where you're sat. Okay. Now, transition to that place. I'm going to invite you just to take a moment to welcome yourself here. Take a breath. Sigh. Just arrive here. So arriving into tomorrow. We all found our comfy spot. Or standing. Good. Now, so what is it like to be here? How does it feel to stand in tomorrow? Take a few moments to capture or think about what it feels like to stand in tomorrow, or if you're sitting, sit in tomorrow. How are things different from the way they used to be? So how are things different in tomorrow? How are things different than they were in the today and the tomorrow? Hmm. What's changed? What is important here in tomorrow? Is there anything important about it? What's important to you here? Now imagine again that tomorrow is a weather system. What's the weather like here in tomorrow? Can you draw it or just describe it? Just sense into it. So what's the weather like here in tomorrow? Nice. So if there was one word you might use to describe tomorrow, or a metaphor, what would that be? 
if there's one word or a metaphor to describe tomorrow, what would that be? Again, if, if one doesn't come to mind, don't worry. It's okay, just see what comes to you. So a word to describe tomorrow, what would that be? Now our last question is, what is possible now in tomorrow that was not possible neither yesterday nor today? What is possible now in tomorrow that was not possible neither yesterday nor today? Jot down a few things, or one or two. It's up to you. What is possible now in tomorrow that was not possible neither yesterday nor today? Okay, so now I invite you to shake off tomorrow. You might want to physically stand up and have a shake. Just let it go and evaporate. And I'm going to invite you all just to come back to where you were first sat or positioned. Um, put your pens away and just bring your paper back. Just take a few minutes just to arrive back. And when you're ready, you turn your camera back on. Let's give us some indication that you're all back. We'll just take a minute or so to slowly arrive back and bring your paper with you. Okay. I can see quite a few cameras are coming on again. Great. So welcome back. I'm going to hand you over to Abe now, who is going to talk you through the next.